Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. Psalm 32, verse 6. For this cause, everyone who is godly shall pray to you in a time when you may be found. Psalm 69, verse 13. But as for me, my prayer is to you, O Lord, in an, accepted, an acceptable time. O God, in the abundance of your steadfast love, answer me in your saving faithfulness. Isaiah 55, verse 6, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. And in 2 Corinthians 6, verse 2, In an acceptable time I have heard you. In the day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. I found a quote in my morning news feed. It's from a Dr. Carol Sirok Sikora, an oncologist and former chief of the World Health Organization's cancer program. And he said, it strikes me as you look at all the data around the world where people have come out of lockdowns, things are actually going along quite nicely on the whole. And it's strange. It's as though something has changed and none of us can explain why. Prayer changes things. Prayer is changing things right now. And something new has already begun right now. And in Jesus' church, new testimonies are about to be created. Generations are coming together in Christ like never before. Dry bones are beginning to feel the breath of the Holy Spirit. Homes are about to be healed. Lives are about to be changed. And untold millions are about to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ for the first time all over again. Something's happening. Let's pray. Jesus, we receive what you are doing in your church. We receive the outpouring of Holy Spirit that is for now, for the generations alive today. We receive your word that is about to reach the generations with your truth, your word. We receive the signs and wonders you are doing through Holy Spirit in your revived and retooled and restored church. We receive healing, physical healing, but especially we receive spiritual healing right now in so many lives. Jesus, revive the lukewarm. Draw those who have drifted far from home. In the name of the one who is still building and restoring and reviving and retooling his church, Jesus Christ. Amen.